Hey, what's up guys, Benny here, and earlier this week, the Supremacy DLC for Advanced Warfare dropped, which included four new multiplayer maps and the brand new Zombies map, Carrier, which, if you've been getting your hands into the Easter egg, is easily one of the most difficult ones to complete that we've had so far. In this video, we're going to be giving you five massive tips so you can do the best that you possibly can, as well as get the most out of the brand new DLC. So first things first, the new Supremacy DLC map pack brings back perhaps one of my favorite maps of all time, as well as one of the fan favorites, High Rise from Modern Warfare 2, returning to Advanced Warfare as Skyrise. Now, in Advanced Warfare, it is a lot easier compared to Modern Warfare 2 to get to the high rooftops that give you a huge overview of the top level of the map. And back in Modern Warfare made you ask, how in the world did they get up there? Take advantage of this if you're using a snipe rifle or an assault rifle like the HBRA3 and get on top of these rooftops to help lock down the key objective points like the B flag and domination. You can also rack up some ridiculous kill streaks doing this. Sadly, due to exosuits being in the game, the underground part of the map isn't as an effective way of getting across the map like it used to be in Modern Warfare 2 though it is still a really useful point if you're looking to escape a gunfight. Also, hit that spawn snipe. If you played Modern Warfare 2, this map was known for the starting sniper shot, which you could straight away get off to a really nice streak. To get those kill streaks nice and quickly, you can still do it in Advanced Warfare. With the new DLC map comes a new zombie map, Carrier which has a really cool new addition, the Grenade Disposal Unit. This is a really fun and useful mini game, which you can even get to in the first round of Zombies to earn some easy score or credits to buy weapons from the 3D printer right next to it. This mini game is also part of the Zombies map Easter Egg, which I'm not going to go into too much detail about as it could spoil it for you. One thing I definitely recommend doing with the Grenade Disposal Unit is to play a small game with your friends to see who can get the most score from only using 4 grenades. It does get really difficult at points but it is a lot of fun. Now the new map Kremlin is perfect if you're looking to build up some really big kill streaks, or to try and get a DNA bomb or just trying to rank up quickly. One of the best points to hold off in the map is by the minigun placements which are in both of the main buildings surrounding the B domination flag. Now the huge advantage with this area is enemies can only really get to you from one way and it also does really provide some really good cover and if you're using an assault rifle or sniper rifle you can easily pick up kills from the enemy trying to take the B flag in domination. Definitely give it a go when you hop onto this map and just keep an eye on your back. Now, Parliament is one of my favourite maps, not just because it's in my hometown London. Okay, who am I kidding? That always does help. But honestly, it's because it's a really open flowing map, which plays very similar to some old Call of Duty maps that operate with a three lane system. But the most important thing for you to do on this map is take control of the middle, as it's one of the few places that provides aerial cover against enemy score streaks, but also allows you to deal with a large amount of the enemies that are respawning, as there's not much cover between the middle of the map and the spawn points. This map is perfect if you're an SMG or shotgun user, and if you're not, I would definitely recommend throwing one on. This map is the smallest from the DLC and almost has no open areas for assault rifles to become dominant, so tend to stick to weapons like the ASM-1 which will be the most effective. Shotguns kick some serious arts as well, but make sure to keep moving as the flow of this map is fairly chaotic with almost every wall being avoidable or just jump over a ball really. So it's easy to get shot in the back, so just keep moving. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video giving you five massive tips for the brand new DLC maps. Let me know in the comments how you get on with the DLC and make sure to subscribe for more content if you haven't already. We've got tons of stuff coming up for E3 in the next few weeks and I will see you guys next time.